Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Atterworth. Plus, yesterday's daily, we did quite well. Rank 121, 1 1.48 percentile with a score of 43,648 points. Today is a blue baby run that goes to mom's heart. Scores on the front page range from 38 to 48,000. And we haven't played as blue baby in gosh darn forever. I've forgotten everything that makes this character tick. 3.67 damage, decent speed. I'm treating it almost like it's an Eden run or something here, but this would be a slightly subpar Eden run. But there are, you know, good things about being Blue Baby. For example, uh, you can shoot your poop and get, on average, you know, maybe one cent per floor out of that. Ooh. You can also hold your poop and have it manifest itself as a non-stop all stats upgrade thanks to this incredible trinket. Who are we fighting here? These guys, yeah, pheromone each other. See if I care. I don't know if that's how you use pheromones as a verb. Probably release is the verb that you use for pheromones, but I don't like saying the word release on the internet. People get real weird about it. It's, oh yeah, release me, daddy. I don't understand. How did we get down this twisted rabbit hole? Every day we stray further from the Lord's light. Okay, so now, okay, be careful. We'd have an interesting decision if they gave us Shoop de Whoop. Because Shoop de Whoop is excellent, but it would compromise to some extent the use of uh, Illuminated Bulb right now, which is really like a good all stats upgrade. One damage, one tier upgrade, the equivalent of one speed upgrade I think as well. Uh, I'm not sure about luck, but I'm assuming so. But we'll probably just get a troll bomb anyway, so don't sweat it too hard. What did I tell you? You know, I didn't want to be right, but I had a suspicion that I could be. We also could still use um, the poop. We just have to be more considered in how we use it. So, for example, you know, we kill these guys. This is so unlikely to make, like, any difference. But, you know, crack into that at the very end of the room. Then you get your charge back, and then you shoot at this, and you get nothing. Okay. Honestly, probably not really worth worrying about. What's the danger as Blue Baby? Well, I don't actually don't think Blue Baby is like that heinous of a character to start as. It's got a, you know, to put it in Y equals MX plus B terms, Blue Baby has a higher Y intercept than the character like Judas. You know, if you get nothing, you're likely to live a little bit longer. Um, but the slope of the run is way worse. So we need to hopefully get things that basically damage upgrades, like that, for example. And to also speed up um, our ability to get stronger. And obviously, Cat of Nine Tails does like a great job there. I don't know, 48,000 is a high score. We do technically want to look for a seam. And the easiest way to get one is probably an Awaz rune. But I would replace the poop with the shovel if we got the opportunity. It's pretty much the the central reason why I am not going to that curse room right now is because I'm a little worried about our HP. Interesting. A little bit of a bummer, but a golden chest might actually work out for us. The thing is, you know, an item room is probably much better value than a, a golden chest on average. But you can get some pretty jank item rooms and you can get some pretty good golden chests so we do have to think about it but I'm just not gonna worry about it too much take evil eye instead which is probably like one of the items in the game for which I have the worst barometer for how good it actually is but that's irrelevant at this point I don't know maybe we should shoot all that thank you dim bulb thank you dim bulb this is what also what um, my teacher said to me every time I answered a question in class, and I only now realized that um, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because it's not even dim bulb, it's illuminated bulb. No, my teacher, teachers, I guess. I didn't go to like a one-room schoolhouse. Eh, it wasn't too much, but it was like an eight-room schoolhouse, but uh, not quite a one-room schoolhouse, but uh, I never got in trouble or yelled at for being too stupid. It was more like, not being able to keep my mouth shut. Like, one. Th this is such an NL story. Because I'm like, I'm not even a geography nerd. I just like knowing what a map looks like. Which I think is like what a three-year-old thinks geography is. And still to this day, that's basically my understanding of the science. But, you know, we were playing this game in like second or third grade. And it was an alphabet game. There is a board game that's based on it. I don't remember which one. It's like Scattergories or something like that. But the teacher was like, you know... 
you know, name a country that starts with F. And I put up my hand and I go, like, France. We're going to angel rooms. These are not good enough. Um, name a country that starts with J. And then I'm, like, waiting for everybody in the class to put up their hand. Nobody does it. I'm like, uh, Japan. And then she's like, okay, someone other than Ryan, name a country that starts with D. And everybody, you know, when you're eight, you're racking your brain. Countries that start with D, are there any? Oh, good. Of course, you know, now. Um, Deutschland. No, I'm poking fun at myself because that's not the name of Germany in English. But either way, um, we're just going to head down here. Uh, everybody's racking their brain. I can't think of one. Um, you know, the United States of America? No, you idiot. That's not correct. So I waited for like what felt like a hundred years. It was probably like 15 seconds. Then I just could not stop myself. I went, uh, Denmark, and then my teacher was like, hey, Ryan, you don't get to play the game anymore because you didn't follow the rules, and in hindsight, she was right, you know. The purpose of the third grade is not for a child to make all the other children feel bad because they don't know Denmark, okay? I've learned that now. It was a tough pill to swallow. That's the kind of thing where you like you tell your parents that story and they're like, we should send Ryan to a private school. He's too smart. He knows all the country names. <laughs> That's, the world is his oyster. Surely he won't be condemned to a life of playing the same video game over and over again and yelled at for only being in the top 6% of players five years after its initial release. Okay, here we go. Curse room for free. I could have been anything in this world. In the third grade, I had memorized countries at an eighth grade level. Okay, grab this. We got 11 cents left here. The, we're really, like, working hard for, well, to get our fill. Mostly, I've realized that everybody wants a thrill, but um, we can't, for the life of us, make more spirit hearts appear on this run. And we're really, really trying. They just have not existed so far. I've been a little light on consumables. With a, a luck stat of two, I'm kind of surprised, honestly, because um, that is well above the mean, I'd suggest. But in terms of, like, our actual, like, the potency of this run right now, we're doing just fine. From a damage standpoint, I think we're doing very well. Um, we should save a bomb in case we get a deal with the uh, angel. It would be nice to blow up the angel statue, although to be fair, we would want to be able to kill the angel statue without taking damage as well, which doesn't seem uh, overly likely right now. Odds are we probably won't get any deal. I mean, it's like a 1 in 6 chance that we get a deal with the angel right now. And uh, I mean, it's roughly a 1 in 3 chance we get a deal with the devil as well, but a deal with the devil is possibly more palatable. Eh, I don't know. It depends what the deal is, I guess is what it all comes down to, my friends, is that everything's going to be fine, fine, fine. Because I got one hand in my pocket, and the other one is picking up Judas's shadow. Let's go. Pretty good. Uh, well, I mean, very good. Now if we get a deal with the devil, we can take whatever we get. And, uh, effectively, we'll be paying one spirit heart to turn our other two spirit hearts into black hearts and double our damage. So, assuming it's a, a deal with the devil that doesn't give us HP to begin with. But we gotta get the deal first. And that might not even be that relevant in the whole scheme of things. But you know what's nice is that we are making great time. Even against a champion, Gertie, a, an enemy that's fairly tanky. We're going to be out of here by like eight and a half minutes. Probably one of the top eight tracks off of the Dismemberment Plans uh, 1999 classic. Emergency and I. We did get a... Deal with the angel. We got no bombs, though. And there's nothing we can do about it. So we'll just take the soul, and we'll get the heck out of there. Sorry, angel statue. I don't know. I can't think of the last time I used a bomb. But uh, thank you for giving us the soul, nonetheless. Maybe this is the best of all worlds. We get the soul. I just realized, by the way, kind of a moron. Probably should have... No! I was like, we could have died on the... Uh... On the blue fires, and then become Dark Judas, and then taking the soul to get two spirit hearts, and our damage would be doubled. But there's no guarantee, because if we died in the angel room, we would have uh, respawned in the boss room. The angel room might not have remained open, so we might not have gotten anything out of that. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using the poop, it's basically just like, I don't think it's worth the ask most of the time for our 
you know, unique situation here, to put it politely. So I'm going to go to the shop. My hope is that there would be a bomb. Neither of these are that good, so I think we'll pick up this and... My hope is that we can make an Ace of Diamonds work, but I was very eager to spend five cents on a bomb that would give us unlimited bombs, but hopefully we'll just find a bomb elsewhere. So we really, like, can make up for the purchase of this card, which is not very good, by turning red hearts into coins because we need every other kind of consumable but if we somehow get like 15 red hearts to drop you know that's where we're going to change things up for sh for certain i would very much like to open that golden chest or those golden chests but there's no means for which we can make that happen so far at least we can get to our item room we haven't been like wealthy on this run with respect to you know our consumables including money of course money's actually been like the best of all consumables for us so far. Um, but we haven't been impoverished either. Like, we have basically just enough to cover what we need and none left over for the next floor. It could be worse, honestly. Like, we, we could not be able to open item rooms. That happens from time to time. And there's really nothing you can do about that situation when it prevents or when it presents itself. And I think we've been doing a pretty good job not taking damage either. But really, like, I, I can't complain about this daily. We've gotten great damage, and, and our trinket right off the bat really cemented this as a run in which uh, we had some pace, so... You know, I would say this is a positively Danish run right now. Hear me out here, by the way. I got a bone to pick, Denmark. I know everyone's like, oh, this will be good. I mean, we should pick this up. Just to, um... Possibly... Get a couple of pennies out of it, but... Alright. Um... America, American. Britain, British. I don't know if that one even applies. France, French. Denmark, Danish. What? Why not Denmarkian? That's all I just gotta ask. Germany, German. Sweden, Swedish. Finland, Finnish. Denmark, Danish. Explain this to me. Why do you get your own demonym that breaks the mold? Oh, dude. Cricket's head. That's pretty good. I th maybe there's a great reason that I'm not aware of. I'm just saying there better be because uh, you know I'm I'm sitting over here. I don't want to be Canadian anymore. I want to be you know von Feldsten. I don't know what that even means, but you know we're gonna figure it out for ourselves as we go. Dude, the money is out of control. But would it kill you to give me a single bomb? All I wanted on this floor is one bomb, so that I could get a golden bomb, find all of our secret rooms, and kill enemies. With relative ease, although our damage is 11 right now, so it's not like we're hurting on a, a killing standpoint right now, but... I get it, you're the land of the of the Danes. Denmark, I don't know, is that just the English name? Is that one of those... Is that one of those things where, you know, for some reason, like, you have a country name that we could pronounce in English, but we gave it our own country name? Or is it one of those ones where we call it Denmark, but in... Danish, the language is actually like, you know, Denmark, you know, it's the same thing. We just needlessly changed it for some... Well, not we. I'm not going to take any credit for it. It was probably the British. Um, all right, well, we're sadly moving on here. Sadly, just because of the consumables, by the way. I mean, we could ace of diamonds, petrified poop. Everyone's ragging on me. By everybody, I mean one person specifically. Saying, why do you call this guy Ram Mega? His name is Rag Mega. And, you know, the easy thing to do there would be to go, uh, I know. But I actually didn't. I actually, for some reason, at one point maybe I thought this guy's name was Rag Mega because I actually read the, you know, description. But then it just became Raw Mega, and I never questioned it. So you know what? Thank you for forcing me to turn the lens of criticism inwards and uh, learn a little bit about the Isaac world that I surround myself with. You know, if I'm going to spend a little bit of every day playing the Binding of Isaac, it helps to be um, helps to be abreast of the situation. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I don't know why I said it in this smarmy voice. We, I mean. Didn't need to shoot the poop, but it's not like that poop is ever going to benefit us anyway. Well, that's not true. We could respawn as Dark Judas, get a bunch of HP upgrades, and then eventually need the rainbow poop. But all of that happening within one floor would be 
Unlikely. Speaking of which, so would getting one bomb, apparently. On the bright side, like, if you did get a bomb, I don't know how you did it, but you're probably in the minority here, so I'm not really worried about competing with people getting to, you know, secret rooms and second secret rooms, and oh look, there's a random crawl space there that gives you Polyphemus, so I'm pretty sure that this one's gonna... I, I can't take Marked. Not without, a, like, a beam-based weapon or something, it's just no good! So I'm pretty sure this one comes down to, like, how much damage are you taking, which is actually working out, like, pretty nicely for us right now. I, I didn't even have to lampshade it. I knew I was going to get hit there. It's just perfect timing. So you definitely go for a half-price uh, restock. We got power pill. Because we have PhD, that's right. And we get credit card. Okay. You can buy a key. Oh, I'm not buying a bomb, though. We could buy a bomb and maybe get a nickel out of it, but that's not... My strat here. The credit card, the plan with the credit card is um, to use that on a deal with the devil if it shows up or a future shop. In the end, I would suggest that our key did get used appropriately here. By doing the room, we'll get a little bit of a, a bonus regardless, but I was hoping to maybe get a key and some consumables out of the first one so that it, it more or less paid for itself. But sure, we got a bomb. We also needed one of those. And we got some more money for finishing. So, we are, like, basically exactly on schedule for getting through this floor and getting to uh, Boss Rush. And I think we're strong enough to live through Boss Rush. Maybe we could use a little bit more HP en route, but... Uh, just checking to see. We could blow that up for five extra cents. We could buy a key. I don't know. The bombs are also pretty valuable, so... I think a bomb is as valuable as a key right now. Maybe even a little bit more tilted towards a bomb because, uh, you know, Tinted Rock potential. Which hasn't been an issue so far. Alright, I don't know. Stop with the Skype messages. This is madness. It's inanity. You're interrupting an elite esports athlete in the middle of his daily meditation. This, uh, honestly, it should be illegal. I'm gonna go this way. A Cuba meat is nice, and we will have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Even if we come back as Dark Judas, we'll have permanent Polaroid invincibility for a bit, probably. So, a Cuba meat is very good. Nice one two punch, moron. Almost got yourself killed. I've been told. It's worth fighting the angel statue. It gives you a damage multiplier, or um, sorry, a point multiplier. It's not going to slow us down that much. We also got Seraphim as an item. Honestly, our damage is good enough to not really be like, oh, thank God, it's Seraphim. But it is a little bit more damage thrown onto the pile, so I'm not going to complain too hard. It's, it's a relatively good deal with the angel item. There's our key piece. Also increases our odds of getting deals with the angel in the future. We're down to the next floor. I, I would say, like, roughly with perfect timing. Because we're, we're fast enough to do whatever we want, but not fast enough, or not quick enough, rather, to, to do nothing. So a health upgrade is really nice as Blue Baby, because it doesn't spawn uh, just an empty heart container. Mm, we have PhD, so telepills. It's not bad. Power pills also not bad, but credit card. We want to make sure we make use of this. And really, my my strategy for credit card, and I've been I've been at this game a long time. But my strategy for credit card is very very simple in this day and age. Use it the first opportunity you get. Don't worry too much about you know getting maximum 100% value out of it. Just you know if you find a deal with the devil, use it. You find a shop item you want to buy, use it. You'll uh, you'll thank yourself later when you're not holding a credit card on the chest wondering what went wrong and trust me I've been there many a time very lucky we found our boss room quite early we probably want to use power pill to get into the curse room maybe but we gotta like the rest of the floor needs to come into clarity a little bit more for us first. You know, I, I need to go to our shop, I need to go to our item room, if we've got the time. With our damage, and with, um, a cube of meat, we should be able to kill Mom fairly quickly. We could also get more money out of that, which could be worth more Spirit Hearts in and of itself. 
Okay, so here's shop and item room. So a as of this point, we could pretty much go to the boss fight. If we're worried about time. Which I don't think we have much reason to be, but... Just in case. It's good to keep that in mind. No greed. No greed. Converter doesn't matter. Map does. So I say we... Credit card, buy the map, and it doesn't restock after that? Bummer, dude, but we did save our money. We also got another health upgrade. I'm not going to use converter. I really thought that it would give us two new items. I think it's the first time I've ever used credit card while also having restock or something. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Um... It's, I don't like the idea of using Stompy, because we walk on mushrooms, we walk on, I mean, skulls obviously are good, because they give us uh, black hearts and tarot cards, my favorite Crash Test Dummies song. However, if we walk on hearts, we're making like a bad decision, you know? Or, not, not hearts, but those weird nubs in the womb that can give you hearts, but never do. Alright, so we have a Telepills. I don't know what my plan is for that, but we're gonna go fight Mom quickly because we have to. And then we'll do a boss rush, and I'm, I'm kind of eager for the opportunity. If we get a deal with the Angel, it'd be really nice, because that indicates there cannot be a Krampus in it. That's right, I subscribe to the multiple Krampus theory. There's not one Krampus, there's many demons masquerading as Krampus to try to stop us from being able to get the boss rush on dailies. Dude, Blue Mom, when time is of the essence, pain in the butt. Luckily, we got 11 damage. Easy money. No Krampus fight, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Alright, uh, Pisces, Continuum, Fruitcake, Anemic. So it's a Tears Up plus Knockback Continuum. Fruitcake. I think we'll go Fruitcake. Don't think it's a particularly strong item. And I think Boss Rush might well take us quite a long time here. But honestly, the points are fine. And if we're only looking to get to like 35,000, we really haven't, we haven't made it too easy on the game is the way that I would describe it. You know, we haven't taken a bunch of stupid damage. We haven't, you know, accidentally picked up an item that ruins things for us or anything like that. Unless Fruitcake ends up dealing like a ton of damage to us that we're not ready for, but um, I honestly think that we've... Kept it pretty much on the level. It's been a little bit of like a, I wouldn't say boring necessarily, but a little bit of like a standard daily. Have, haven't been too many opportunities to really mess about. Um, but it turns out that that's like completely okay. Are you not dead? What happened? That was like a science euthanasia tier or something like that. Um, there's a lot of gaps in this run that... I would like to... I mean, it sounds wrong. There's a lot of gaps I'd like to plug. Our stats are so good. And I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that. However... Wouldn't mind replacing our spacebar item. Now, it's kind of a luxury to have a garbage... Well, not very good spacebar item that charges very quickly. Because it works very well with um, illuminated bulb. Makes it, you know, probably one of the best trinkets in the game. Not that it's had much competition on this run. However, still wouldn't mind having the opportunity to maybe get a, uh... To maybe get a spacebar item that actually provides us with some benefit at a, at a small cost to our stats. Although, literally, to every one of our stats. Oh, I hate, I accidentally nudged, I got like a volume knob on my headphones, cause, cause I'm fancy, and um, I nudged it with my knee here, and now the game is at zero volume, so I hear myself like 
I'm very much over the like, oh, does my voice actually sound like that sort of stuff? But it's still like, it's distracting because now it's more like, are those the thoughts that are coming out of my head? Like, I'll eternally be embarrassed about that. So if you'll give me a moment here, maybe after we kill Monstro 2, I'm going to crank up the volume. By which I mean I'm going to pump, pump the jam and pump it up while your feet are stumping. That's much better. Okay. So fruitcake, I mean... It's a good item for us. I think it actually is upping our damage. Not that we drastically need it, but... It's been fairly useful for us so far. The occasional Explosivo or Holy Light shot. Um, mostly those ones. Like, Godhead is nice, but... A little bit less uh, raw damage than any of those other options. And, of course, the uh, pennies that we're getting from it as well. And the, I guess I didn't even mention it. Oh, that was pretty bad. But the uh, the demon hearts from, from Serpent's Kiss Tears. That was the first hit we've taken on this boss rush, though. So I'm, like, decidedly not sweating it. Rarely, especially on dailies, where you don't have much of a choice about whether or not you do boss rush. Rarely, uh... Does it end up being a decision that actually benefits you in terms of, like, your HP or any of your other stats, for that matter? So, so far, I'm like, this is a, a dream come true, man. I think that was a booger tier, but I was waiting for him to explode for, like, 15 seconds there. Mega Fatty, only scary to us right now when he jumps. You know, any other attack that that he does, um, we can dodge super easily. Might even, I was going to say, be able to kill him before he gets done with that. Just got to watch out for, for teleporting enemies, which is effectively the same as a jump, uh, if they disappear from the screen. And then also enemies that shoot beams. If we can avoid those two, that's like 80% of the damage I'd expect to have any chance to take here. Which is why I'm trying not to stand in one spot for too, too long. Oh! Okay, fast enemy. We didn't get hit, though. I actually had to double check there. I thought we might have. So, really, this is a pretty comforting position to be in right now. Because there's no uh, chance for us to really mess it up at this point. Sure, it would be great to get a seam and make it past uh, the, the mom's heart fight and make it down to Shoal. It's only one extra floor. It, it would make all the difference from a point standpoint, but honestly, it, it's conceivable that deals with the angel... Oh, that's such a good item. It's conceivable that going for deals with the angel has precluded us from doing that. Like, there's a chance that the shop shows up, but it probably won't. So I think at this point, we actually should use telepills. Um, and we should go explore the rest of this floor, because I think that's the best way for us to accrue, like, a maximal advantage here. I wish I hadn't messed up the shop. Of course, the one time I, I advocate, like, a conservative use of uh, credit card, it ends up screwing me because I could have bought, like, four or five items from the shop. But, alas and alack, we can't go back. We have a library, potentially. And that'll be an interesting thing to think about because Book of Revelations is, like, well, it's good. It's a one down to basically everything. I think we should go with this. It does make us worse, but not by a ton. And this is like... I don't know. It's a tough call. Maybe it's the right decision for us to play the self-sacrifice room. If it is, it's the right decision later as well, which means we might as well... You know, explore a little bit more here. He's a god. He got the penny and the second secret room. But yeah, it's possible. Especially because we got the respawn. That might be a way to eke out a few extra thousand points. Or it might give us so much of a damage penalty that the teleport is not even worth it in the end. But for now, I think we have a very, very luxurious daily ahead of us. Our stats are good, and there's not really a, a hard decision to be made unless we find a self-sacrifice room, you know, on this floor, in which point, or at which point, we'll have to think about it. But, uh, I'd probably go through with it. 
I think it's a pretty easy daily. Like, I think everybody's having a good daily today. It's like a good old-fashioned, you know, hamburger, french fries, and a strawberry milkshake, you know? Every... Not everybody's favorite meal every day, but now and then, hits the spot, right? Okay, let's leave those in case we end up wanting to, uh... Go to a self-sacrifice room on this floor. It is uh, one of the most, like, reproducible seams in the game. So it's up to us to be like, well, let's get bacon on our burger, and then we'll take it to the next level, you know? Ace of Hearts. Not relevant. Um, I don't really want to use this yet, either. Again, the, the whole point is... Sure, it would replace the Spirit Heart, but I like having the stat bonus for now, while we have no other uh, cost associated with it. And, if we want to play the Self-Sacrifice Room, I don't really care what kind of hearts the hearts are. I just care that we can... Uh, this should be Bookworm. I just care that we can take advantage of it. We'll use Book of Secrets. That shows us the whole map. There is no Self-Sacrifice Room. Book of Belial. Uh, of course, quite nice for damage. The Bible, and then Book of Sin, give me a Persra rune. It gave me a red heart. It's kind of a tough call, because... I could see Book of Belial being really nice for us right now. You think that's a secret room below us? I think it's worth checking. Let's go. This means we don't have to take any extra damage on this floor. Which is worth something to me. Stompy admittedly would have helped us get all this money, so I am feeling the burn there a little bit. We definitely do not care about matchstick. But again, I think, you know, we're we're playing this run right. You know, we're doing like a Bob Ross tutorial video right here. I'm not saying it looks as good as the Masters, but it does look evocative of it. It's like, you know, this this run would get at least an A. If this was Isaac Daly class right now. Like, we've, we've hit every conceivable measure of competency on the rubric right now. Sure, taking a little bit of damage, but who amongst us hasn't, you know? We're going to every single room. We're not taking uh, needless damage very often along the way. So we'd really, really like to see a self-sacrifice room on the next floor, I think. If we don't get a, a rune or something that allows us to to circumvent the run ending on the next floor, I think we would really, really, really like to just speed right by it. Now, we obviously will not be able to make the hush fight, but the hush fight also does not exist on today's run, so no harm, no foul there. Again, front page is usually like my my ambitious goal, and today we got a chance, I'd say. It's 35... Or 38,000 to make the front page. I mean, that's a pretty darn good score, to be honest with you. And we're still uh, a distance away from that. So I would almost bet that there is a self-sacrifice room on the next floor. Or there was a shovel. And somehow I missed it. It's a great item. I'm not going to say no to Blood Clot here. Uh, and we'll head down to the next floor. I, maybe we should look for a second secret room. Two bombs. Two bombs. That's all I'm going to use. Okay, we found a crawl space. The crawl space had data miner. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Er. Yeah. Data miner. Everybody, have you heard? Have you? Uh, anyway, that's my way of distracting you from the fact that I didn't pick up data miner because it's garbage. People from everywhere come to defend you despite all your weakness. I don't understand why they like data miner. Oh, I don't care about that. Temperance is technically usable. If we get invincibility, we might as well throw down temperance and just like enjoy life for a bit. Plenty of bombs. We don't need any more keys, because we're not going to... Um, we're not going to the chest. It's actually not relevant, so... Not so worried about the loss of keys. Store credit. Sadly useless, but this room seems to have mostly paid for itself. 
well, very much so paid for itself. We also got a couple of luck upgrades over the course of this as well. Um, Kane's Eye occasionally, you know, gives us vision of where to go. I actually think it's the wrong decision to go to the, uh, the curse room. What do we need? It's not going to give us, like, a full guppy suite. Even if it did, we don't need a full guppy suite. 48 hour energy. I mean, I guess... We, we should still leave the battery charges just in case there is a self-sacrifice room. Even though it might compromise our ability to respawn as Dark Judas, it's the right call to get, like, the maximum amount of raw HP. I'm telling you. I'm basing this whole floor and, and my decisions on it on the idea that there will be a self-sacrifice room, and there was. So, we know we're going to get a deal with the devil as well. Hopefully it's a deal with the angel. We'll fight the angel statue, and then we'll do our teleportation. And honestly, if you like watching me succeed, and I, I mean, I don't like watching myself succeed, but I like succeeding on the video. I don't, you know, watch it back in my own time, I'd never have any time to myself. I mean, you see, also, you'd, you'd do it to reflect badly on my personality. You'd be like, this guy watches his own Isaac videos. It's like, you know, an hour and a half of content a day that he's already seen. What's wrong with him? But... If you like watching me succeed, you should be very happy with the way that things are looking right now. Because we are... Probably about to have one of our best relative ranks ever. Unless we grossly, grossly mess it up. There's just... It, it, the reason I'm kind of excited about it... And I was very cocky about yesterday's daily and ranked much worse than I had thought, but... Um, the reason I'm cocky about it is because uh, I just don't see too many opportunities for us to have gotten more points. Sure, consumables are a little on the light side except for money. But apart from that, and the, of course, damage that... I, I don't know why I'm exclusively getting uh, the exploding option here now on our uh, fruitcake tiers when we hadn't had it like ever before. But... Um, did we pick up something then? No, Blood Clot doesn't do that, so I don't understand. Anyway, I don't see too many opportunities to get a few thousand points above me. So I have to imagine that we're, you know, I'm not saying we're in the 40s on today's run. But I think we got a good chance to be in the 30s somewhere. We don't need that. Um, an Angel deal? Devil deal? We could probably, with the amount of consumables on the ground, we could probably afford to take either. But it, we'd have to consider it, you know. We'd have to... If it's a devil deal, we have to consider it. If it's an angel deal, we just have to look at the item and determine whether or not it's any good at all. See, that was like rocking a hard place there. We got an angel deal. We'll probably fight for it because we get a charge anyway. Uh, I don't know if we can take both. If we can only take one, we want to take dead dove. We have unlimited bombs. On this fight, that's really useful. Because ah, we need it. Uh, that was very nice, though. Uh, on this fight, we need uh, the bombs to pace the enemy away from us. I still don't think it makes sense to go to the curse room. And I'm drowsy at this point is just something I have, like... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was going to say to make the lamb fight easier, but we could be heroes just for one day. You take the Temperance card, and then you use it along with the Self-Sacrifice Room. You might be able to snag a Blood Bag out of it. If you get a Blood Bag, then you get uh, a Speed Upgrade, which could be very nice for us as well. So you definitely, like, pop Temperance, use this. You know it's going to hurt. Like, our damage penalty is going to go up. Maybe we'll get a reroll or something later. We'll... Gotta admit, relatively smart idea for yours truly. So we feel blessed. That's better angel deal chance. Just in time. Three plays just to make it safe. Okay, I don't know why I would walk over to that one first, but that's alright. Life goes on. Feel blessed again. Wow. What a terrific audience. Thank you for the all the money that we will receive at one point. Nah, that's good, that's good. Let's pick it all up. 
The luck there is not meaningless. Help recover some of the points as well. So we get little delirium. He's okay. He's he's got positives. Don't touch my temperance card. Uh, we're gonna go back and start to pick up some extra charges here because, again, it would be nice to become Dark Judas and have the damage bonus, but we already have a damage multiplier in the form of Cricket's Head, so I don't know if Dark Judas is actually gonna give us an added multiplier on top of that. It doesn't mean I don't wanna become Dark Judas, it just means I'm thinking, you know, critically about the situation as it's presented itself. If we became Dark Judas, I think that would be fine, but I would rather be Blue Baby with like 4 HP than Dark Judas with 2. And we're making, we're making something out of nothing here, which I think is important. This has been a good daily. Strong from the get-go. And good opportunities for uh, upward movement. You know, it's important. So we, forget the blood bank for now. I know, sacrilege, but wasn't the right time to worry about it. We did get seven spirit hearts. And we got IV bag, which is unfortunate, but understandable. IV bag is not something we want. Blood bag would have been dope, but life goes on. So we're going to teleport. It'll be very interesting to see how our points look when we come down here. We're at 32,000, so I'm like, man, is it conceivable to get to 38? I don't think there's anything we... Like, I this was the right way to get points. But we still got to take it, like, a little bit to the next level. Oh, dude. Health ups and balls of steel. We still got to play pretty well, I think. But top 100 should be very doable for us. Don't think we really squandered too much goodwill from the run. Holy crap, we didn't get hit there. <laughs> Did you see that? That was, uh, that was madness. Never, ever teleport and I'll be the happiest of all kids. Yeah, that was just not very shrewd on my part. Um, don't squander it on this floor. You know, you got... I wouldn't expect to not take any damage on this floor. We're not in, like, the, you know, Tammy's head, brimstone, press space, and everything dies kind of territory yet. Fingers a completely acceptable item, even though it costs us, uh... It costs us points to pick it up. I think it pays for itself. Maybe literally in terms of its time. You know, it will kill enemies very, very slightly faster. But also compensates in terms of, like, you know, maybe damage taken. And then there's the morale fudge factor as well. Again, it's kind of debatable whether you should pick these up at this point. In fact, I'm, I'm going to stop picking up items that don't give us, like, immediate benefit. And admittedly, the fly doesn't really give us immediate benefit. So, occasional help, maybe. Immediate benefit, no. Same with, like, Gemini is fine. It's a little too late for it to guarantee that it proves its worth, though. So, just going to ignore that for now. Really hoping the heart would die. I think it has now. It's a bad floor for us to have uh, no vision on, by the way. You gotta take this. A tears upgrade? Absolutely. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, we're not gonna hit 38,000. 35 is conceivable. If we do every room... Um, that remains on this floor. 35 is within uh, within reach. We can get another, you know, 2,000 for our time on this room. And then whatever our bonus is for finishing. But I think 38 is outside of the realm of possibility, unfortunately. But still, a daily to be proud of. And honestly, if you beat me on rank today or, or came close to me on rank today, um, you should be proud as well. Because this was like a daily where you had to play at least decently to get things done. You know? Did you, did you solve 
a complex mathematical problem to rank well today. I don't know. I know I didn't. Um, but did you show up to class? Did you do all the homework? And you, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Reward is a big part of motivation and, you know, I'm not afraid to give out too many pats on the back. I don't know, when you say it like that, it sounds a little creepy, but... Grab this, 32,255. Obviously, the best way to rank as highly as we possibly can here is to just not take any uh, damage, but... Barring that as a guarantee... Which is, you know, basically inconceivable that you could guarantee that, so... I knew it. I had my... I had him in my freaking sight Soldier 76 style, too. I just didn't quite have the speed yet to get out of the way. Now we might. And I, I don't know, I don't think I should use... Oh, hey. I don't think we should use, um... Satanic Bible yet. We should enjoy the stat bonus while we have it. Hello. And then use Balls of Steel instead. Come on, come on, come on. No more jumps, no more jumps, no more jumps. Let's go. So we lost like 300 points there. Oh! Stop this! Oh, my Lanta. I still think we don't use this. I prefer having a little stat bonus right now. Little Brim is gone. Now it's uh, a second Seraphim, I think. Not bad. Dude, Serpent's Kiss. Thanks for the incredible bounty here. Power Pill, also good. Um, we do have some more rooms to go to, so it is like my natural inclination to be like, let's get the heck out of this floor, you know? I don't want to live my life, uh, finishing up this freaking daily. Like, I got things I could do today. But, I will come down here. We'll do our last remaining rooms, because I really think, I, I, I feel like it slipped a little bit towards the end, but not much. Not enough to be, like, extremely despondent or anything. So we'll finish this room, we'll go fight the boss. Hopefully with Power Pill we can fight that boss without taking damage. And then we'll use... Oh, we might get a Void Floor after this too, I didn't even consider that. That would be a way for us to eke out a few extra points that I didn't even consider. Maybe that's the secret. We're, we're gonna, we'll find out in a second here. I don't think so, I don't think that's the secret. I think it probably ends right here, but once we finish this fight, if we have no Void, we will just use Satanic Bible. That'll probably give us, you know, three-eighths of a point, and, um, you know, that could make all the difference on the leaderboards here. If you can't make fun of yourself, then, uh, you know, you can't make fun of anybody else. That's why I'm especially cruel to myself, so I can just be vicious to other people. It, you know, it's written in the Code of Hammurabi. Get dunked on. No void floor. Grab this. Grab this. It was like eight points. And let's go. I'm happy with today's score. We got 36,114. That's like the same rank as yesterday with the same hubris. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is a fun one. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.